Training Saber Knight, anonymous here, with a special camp edition of Training Hall. Joining me here is one of our campers, uh, Connor. Uh, he will be uh, demonstrating with me today. Um, and today we're going to talk about a little bit about um, something we call flow dueling, which is a kind of intermediary between choreography and sparring and real and kind of cooperative um, fighting. Um, and uh, it's a great warm-up. It's a great thing to do to kind of get into that mindset of competition and going back and forth and figuring out what's what's going on where. So we're going to uh, show a couple of uh, couple of uh, little things. So basically, what it is, and um, of course, safety number one priority. So gloves, and for this, we'll only need eye protection because we're not going to make, we're not going to actually try to make contact with each other, and we're going to try to stay out of range a little bit. So, uh, if Connor would be so kind to help me here. When we square off at the beginning, <clears throat> we're going to be further away than usual, right? And we'll be in our, whatever our guard is. And then when we come in, we're going to stay kind of out of range, you see? So I can't hit him. He can't hit me. Go ahead, swing. All right, just swing so, so is it. Yeah, okay? So we can't hit each other, but we can see if we do. So if I'm here and I go like this, I can see that I kind of got through there. All right, if that was my end, he can do the same thing right there. Okay? So we'll start out really easy, and every move that we're going to do, we're going to exaggerate a whole lot so the other person sees what we're doing and can come up with a response. It's not exactly choreographed, but it is cooperative. So, when I come in with an overhead chop, he comes up there. And then I'll come up and I'll go underneath there. And we go into these nice, wide, slow motions that simulate what we're really going to be doing. Right. And so, we can both, we can, and then this is kind of stationary. We can both move around. All right, go ahead. But as you see, it's very light. Right? It's kind of fun. Right? It's not exactly what you'd be doing. You can't really call this real fighting. Sorry, that was a good strike. But, uh, you can, however, take the skills that you are learning for fighting and try to apply them here in a much more limited sense. So, go ahead, turn that back on. Basically, it comes down to this. He has to see what I'm doing, and it's going to hopefully train that eye to see what the opponent is going to be doing. Right? So, if I'm coming up here like this, he knows to come and meet it. Right? It will also give an idea as far as what types of combos will work with what, right? For instance, if I'm coming up like this, okay, good. That's the appropriate response. If he comes up like that, right, lots of people try to do that. Do that again, right? Unfortunately, most of the time what will happen is this. Come up into the center. Is they totally miss it and it actually makes the hit, okay? So, training in the flow duel, when we see it, we're going to respond in the same way that we would in real life, but we don't have the danger that we do in actual sparring. So it allows us to maybe Maybe come up with some new ideas that we can then try out in sparring, which is a little bit more um, involved. Like that. Now, also, warming up, doing some flow dueling with the saber staffs is, we found, to be an excellent warm up, especially when going into single saber. We're also going to do uh, another video which will show how to train with the double saber to help um, all of your other skills. Um, Anyway, 
So using the Sabre staff is a little bit easier when flow dueling because you can move slower and you can put in more of the flourishes that you're, no, that you're used to. But, uh, the tricky part about it all is, is changing the sides and becoming aware of each blade. So that as you're going through it, you not only have to think about one blade in your hilt, but you have to think about another blade that might hit you or the other person's blade that might also cause you problems. Okay? Okay. By doing this nice and slow and controlled, it starts your awareness. It starts your reaction time. It's a good hand-eye coordination thing, and it also is very useful for combo and form um, choreography, that kind of thing. Test out things, see what happens. Something neat might might go on, and you might be able to include that into something else. Thank you. Okay. So that's a, that's that's a really good use of the saber staff and using it um, to help single saber. So uh, there you go. Um, flow dueling, an excellent exercise to do with a partner. Um, please, if you are doing this by yourself, always wear safety gear and try to have somebody who has some sort of knowledge of swordplay or some experience observe you before you go out on your own. Even though this is very playful and very relatively safe and all of that, accidents can happen, especially with untrained people who are not exactly sure what they're doing um, and people who don't have a lot of control yet. Okay? So remember, go very, very slow. You're going to telegraph your movements. right? Um, and don't worry, it's not going to create bad habits of you are now always going to telegraph because the idea is that you do this and then you go and you do sparring, which helps you navigate the differences between the two. So this is very much like a two-person form that's not written down, right? Now, as you get more and more advanced, this will take on more sophisticated forms. At the very beginning, it, um, other than for warm-up be, before a class, I do not believe that beginners can gain a whole lot of knowledge from this practice. This is something that is really intended to use skills you already have and that you're trying to work with um, and, and fit into a realistic situation rather than trying to come up with new techniques or find new ways of, of doing things. Better just to go in there figure out what's going on, get the give and take and the rhythm and the tempos and all of that kind of thing, and you can start seeing what combos work, what combos don't, where the weaknesses in each of them are, because everything's moving very, very slowly, and hopefully you'll be extremely aware. Okay, so pay attention to what you're doing very, very carefully. Go very, very slowly, right? Only use this as a warm-up. Don't start using this as, as training in and of itself. It will not help you in necessarily in that way. All right? Okay, well, that's it for right now. Thank you for uh, joining us here at uh, Lightsaber Camp. Thank you for Connor for helping me out on this one. He'll uh, probably be showing up in some other videos. Uh, to everybody out there, have a great day and happy sabering. <laughs>